The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Sporting Lisbon against Paris Saint-Germain. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Lineups we've just been given. difference here. Ankel Di Maria, uh, he has an awful lot going for him, uh, a good dribbler, a very good crosser, a marvellous free kick taker and a range of passing that most midfielders would be proud of and he could play a prominent part. Not to disagree with... Goal! Sporting! There is the breakthrough! Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Thiago Motta. And it's Cavani. Now it's Lucas Moura. Jefferson positions himself well and cuts it out. And scored inside the first ten minutes to make it 1-0. Here it comes. Goalkeeper's ball. Thiago Motta. First quarter of an hour gone. Marco Verratti. Slimani with the ball through. Matuidi. And Slimani! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Oh, he can't be happy missing that after the put clean through. That's about as good a chance as you can get. There he is, making his presence felt. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. Maxwell. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Thiago Motta. Marco Verratti. Cavani has been found. forward oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there yeah and the vision to get him through was all good but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right but importantly he's holding his line until the very last moment and that will pay off half an hour played now now it's Slimani now the pass it's there to get rid Sporting Lisbon are leading with half-time drawing close. Aurier doing well down the right, but he's left himself in need of support.
Brown Ruiz. Tries a through ball. Promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Thiago Motta. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Sporting yeah, Lisbon go in at half time with a slender one goal lead. Who goes and we start the second half. Sporting Lisbon carry a one goal lead into the second half. Matuidi looks to slip it through. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Jao Pereira, well played, he saw that coming. Marco Verratti. And the counter is on. Sporting Lisbon just about have their noses in front, it is the slenderest of leads. Marco Verratti. Looks like a good ball through. Sporting Lisbon need to make a change here. Really are proving themselves to be solid all over the field. That's a throw. Matuidi, and it's Cavani. William Carvalho. Passes it through. Carvalho looking to get on the end of this. Jefferson with the ball through. Slimani has it in a wide position. So what next? A chance to play it in. Is it in? Oh, and that should have been two. What a huge let off that was. Conceding them would really have left the momentum to climb. Verratti. Thiago Motta. Matuidi. Di Maria. Fine defending there. Thiago Silva gets into the right position to intercept. Now it's Slimani. has got rid of that. Adrian Silva. And steaming forward. Sporting Lisbon just have to run down the clock. I think they need to be more direct now and just start getting the ball forward. And back out it comes. And with that, the final whistle. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way, the margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. Well, you know, it's not easy to hold on to a lead over a long period, but I thought they showed great shape and good discipline to see the whole thing through. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me, and to wish you all a very good evening.